Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, yesterday Claude dropped Sonnet 4.5, which means that anything that uses Claude has probably just been upgraded as well. Now I have this WordPress Claude code wizard and I thought it'd be quite a fun experiment to see how much better Sonnet 4.5 deals with this than Opus 4.1. Now this is a pretty interesting little GitHub, and you can find the GitHub in the description of the video. Definitely check it out, guys. It's completely free to use. We're thinking about making a SaaS from this GitHub repo. If you want to see like Bolt.new and Lovable, but for WordPress, then just let me know in the comments, and we're thinking about making that and releasing it for free. Now, obviously, completely for free is something that not that many people do. The reason that we would be doing it is that Grove, which is our software, which you can check out first link in the description of this video, it's basically an e-commerce, currently an e-commerce automation, automation platform, and we did add WooCommerce to it. It does Shopify and WooCommerce, and we were kind of thinking maybe we can help people generate their websites, and then we can help people grow their websites, right? But if you are interested in Grove as of today and you have a Shopify or WooCommerce store, check out seogrove.ai. You can join the waitlist at the top right of the website. Okay, so let's just try this process out. Now, I do have this running here, so I'm just going to CD out this. I'll clear this context. I'll do mkdir 4.5 sonnet, cd 4.5 sonnet, and then we'll write git clone and then a full stop. The way that we know this works is if we write Claude and you can see execution allowed by .mcp.json playwright, then we say yes here, that is successfully running. You can double check by running slash MCP and you should see playwright listed, right? And, and let's run this now. So the only thing we actually need is a Gina API key. So we're gonna to go to Gina.ai. I am gonna improve this soon to use the MCP instead of using just Gina as a curl request, but I haven't done that just yet. So I'm gonna say create a directory for um, golf courses in Ireland, ready for the, is it called the Ryder Cup in 2027, which will take place in Ireland. I want to gather some traffic for that. There are probably about 50 courses in Ireland, split them up by county, et cetera, and then um, use this Gina API key, and then we'll just hit enter here. Sorry, one thing I'm just gonna quickly do actually is claw dash dash dangerously skip permissions, and then dash C. And then I'll say continue, remember to use uh, multi-agents to do the research more quickly. Okay, so we'll let this run, we'll see how this does. But effectively what this is gonna do is it's going to create an entire directory of golf courses, including real golf course information that it finds online and real pictures that it finds online as well using Gina. And then it's gonna take all of that information that it's found and it's gonna turn it into a directory, right? So task research Irish golf courses, now that they've improved their multi uh, courses thing, like their courses, their multiple calls, like their async calls, this should be super, super fast. So we're just gonna let this run guys, and we'll be back when this is done. Just so you know, the way this actually works is if we go to the GitHub, I'll just show you. It uses this Claude.md file here, right? So what I call these are custom Claude workflows. You can do this with literally anything, okay? So I have plans to make different Claude workflows for different things, things that we need to do for Grove, for the business, whatever it might be. And I'm very, very excited about this kind of concept. But yeah, the way it works is we have a custom Claude.md file so it knows exactly what to do. So very interestingly, guys, this is just an aside from what we're doing right now. I actually managed to build this entire feature, or Claude managed to build this entire feature without any input from me whatsoever. Now, obviously, it doesn't quite work perfectly because it has it has Pinterest as a competitor, but this is a good competitor. This is a good competitor. These are all decent competitors. GQ, for example, is a great competitor. 
GQ is actually a website that I used to grow two men by kind of copying a lot of their content. I managed to make two men dot it by using uh, GQ as a competitor. So it's actually managed to build this entire feature with basically zero input from me. So I can confirm, I have been testing, that it does work, okay? It is very, very good. Previously, this would not have been possible or it wouldn't have been easy to just create an entire new feature for Row. If anyone cares, by the way, I know that some people have been watching uh, a little bit of the RuneScape stuff and keeping in, keeping in touch with it. Someone said you've got to train your attack level. That's now been done. We're currently getting full void. I'm currently doing Boil Egg and uh, me at the same time. We're a group Iron Man. I don't think anybody cares about this, but <laughs> I do love RuneScape. It's a fantastic game, and we are uh, kind of bashing it right now. But yeah, the reason I mentioned the competitor insight stuff that we've just created is because I just wanted to show that I'm not, I'm not just doing random little tests. I am actually doing larger tests to understand the new model and to see how good it is. And it managed to build this entire thing, which I'm extremely, extremely impressed by. I do have to point something out, guys, because I don't like to bullshit people. If you look here, it actually stopped and tried to deliver here. According to the Claude.md instructions, I should complete in one shot, but due to complexity, here's what still needs to be done. Now, on their blog post, they have it working. They, they claim that it works for 30 hours, right? But it can't even complete this task. So I just, one thing I do want to say is take a lot of what these fucking AI companies say with a grain of salt, right? Because it's not always as good as you might think okay guys so we're pretty much done here again i'm not trying to lie i'm not trying to make things look better than they are i'm actually not impressed by this build to be honest with you it would actually be built better using opus 4.1 let's just have a quick look so it's done this golf courses sure let's have a look counties just goes to county louth for some reason regions does work but there's no filters this is honestly not that good, I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, it's technically really good. There are no glaring errors or anything like that. Let's see if the filter works. It does. Did that. What did I do? Munster. All types. Links. Filter. The filter doesn't even work here. It looks like it's just giving me way more than it should be. There are no images. I'm not that impressed. I'm not going to lie. I thought this would be much better. However, technically speaking, this has built a pretty good directory maybe it's a prompt issue a lot of the things like you iterate prompt with one model and then the model changes and you have to reiterate prompt to make it better because you don't have to do as much bullshit with more intelligent models i'm not really sure what the issue is here but yeah i'm not massively impressed by the result here i really thought this would be better However, it is still an improvement on Codex, for example, which gave me a much worse version. I'm going to keep letting this run and we'll see what the very final product is. Okay, so this is kind of the end result that it, it gave me. I, I said just improve the look and feel a little bit. This is really cool. It's giving it a Ryder Cup 2027 tag, which I love. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm not massively impressed, but I will say that this definitely has a lot of potential. This was about a five, 10 minute pro uh, process in total. I just need to refine a little bit now that the model is better. It doesn't need as much kind of jangly prompting. I think that might be the issue. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You're watching all the way to the end of the video. You're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.